This is for people who want to enable their DAC to play high resolution files on Linux. Uh, it's Linux version 24. If you have 22 or earlier, you'll need to <coughs> install Pipewire version 24 has it installed, so you don't need to. So I'm going to just pop up on the screen. Uh, It'll display what to do to get this working because uh, Ubuntu defaults to just being 48 kilohertz no matter what, no matter how high resolution the file is because everybody wants high resolution is stupid, I guess, or something. Um, actually, though, uh, like most things, they go for the lowest common denominator, and that's 44.1. A lot of times use 48 killers. Anyway, I'm going to quit griping about having to change it myself because I don't feel you should have to go in and hack files. I think that, you know, somebody should build some of this stuff in, but it's not there, so that's what we're going to have to do. I'll get it running up on the screen, and I'll talk through what we're doing here. Okay, now, you can see here the first thing is look at the uh, pipe wire little screen here uh, on our file browser. It's under, if you look up here, it says user share pipe wire. That's where your pipe wire files are actually at. Um, regardless of what Google will tell you because they will tell you they're elsewhere but the pipewire files on Ubuntu 24 and user share pipewire so you'll need to go there and just open a pipewire conf with your text editor in this case I'm using Kate since I'm on Ubuntu and what you have to do is is uh, what I should have done to start with I fool with this a little bit but what you need to do is search for clock because you're going to set the default clock rates for your uh, your DAC here and you'll need permission to write the file Kate asks you for permission afterwards some uh, browsers ask or some uh, applications ask you for the password before they load it um, anyway do your little search to find the to find the right spot and then you're going to enter these uh, sample rates which you'll see in a minute here because I'll bring them up in the Google all right it's one of those search for clock it's under context properties and you want to go to the next one down here so we're going to change it as you see it says default clock rate and then default clock allowed rates at 48 kilohertz and we're going to put that in the allowed rates and I would just scroll down here real quick to check if that was the right spot it seems to be so all you need to do is type them in in the brackets where it says 48 kilohertz here as you'll see me do here in a second and once you put your sample rates that your DAC will do in there. Oh, yeah. Remove the remove the hash in front of the default clock allowed rates to activate that. Then I got the sample rates up here on Google, as you can see. My DAC supports all of them, so I just typed all of them in, and I assume um, virtually every DAC on the market will support all of them. I'm sure. I could be wrong, but it seems very unlikely unless you have like an ancient DAC or something. So you've got. 88,200 kilohertz you've got 96 kilohertz which is 96,000 hertz 176.4 thousand hertz 176,400 192 kilohertz and then 352.8 kilohertz and some of these I think that one is one that will be used for what's called DOP also which is um, digital over or DSD over PCM which this DAC also supports but we don't have to deal with that 
I put the sample rates in here, save this off. Then um, you'll need to either restart PipeWire. I recommend just restarting the computer because it's easier. Uh, depending on how slow your computer is to restart, this Asus VivoBook restarts really fast, so I don't worry about it. Type that in, restart, and then it should work just fine on your uh, on your high-res files. And as I was saying earlier, if there's anything you want to know how to do or uh, would like me to put up on a do-it-yourself video, uh, even if it isn't related to electronics or DAX or anything like that, home repair or anything, just let me know what it might be and I'll see if I know enough about it or if I can get the information together and if I can do it right and make a video for you. I can't, obviously won't be able to do everything, but give it a shot. And I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching my video. Blessed be.